We are in Buckeye, Arizona in Verado Master Plan Community. It is a gorgeous, wonderful master plan community to live in. Today we are going to be showcasing you some brand new homes. We have a single story home here and a two story right here. It is built by Taylor Morrison. Two wonderful, beautiful model homes here. They come in four to five bedrooms, both in the single story and in the two story. The nice thing about it, there is a really nice park. They're just getting started here. A park, a playground, some place really nice to bring the family, the four legged child, as in the dog. <laughs> Um, so whatever your heart's desire is, if you are thinking about moving and relocating to Verado, you can't pick a better community than Verado Master Plan Community. And Taylor Morrison, brand new homes right here. They got some lender specials. They got low HOA fees here. So let's just not waste any more of your time. Let's go hop in and take a look at these and see what you think about them. Let's go. Alrighty, so here's the first house. I'm trying to keep the glare out of it. As you can see, it is a single story. It is uh, called the Harlow. There is the sales office, which would be the garage. It is 1960 square feet. You can have a four to five bedrooms, two to three bathrooms, a study, and the list price is 405.990. So let's go on in. Alrighty, so here we are standing right near the front door and as we turn to the right, here's a room. They have it set up as an office, but you can have it as a bedroom because remember, you can have four or five bedrooms here with a front window view. And you come down here, this is the guest half bath. Window to this side of the house. And as we walk down to the house, we walk right into the kitchen and then the dining room and family room. I will turn around so you can see the kitchen a little better. There's the front door in the far distance. They have stainless steel appliances, gas stove top. And then here's the dining. And then down into the family room, gathering room, whatever you want to call room with a nice view to the backyard. And again, the square footage is 1960, 1,960. And this is what it looks like looking back into the kitchen. So it's, it's a very, it's kind of narrow, but not, I mean, it's not super narrow, but it's long. Let me get you another view here. There you go. There. So we're gonna walk back down here so you saw one office or bedroom from the front. Turning this way, we're gonna, there's your laundry room. That's the access door in from the garage. And we walk down the hallway, we have bedroom, guest bedroom number one, with a window to the side of the house and slider door closets. And then out of here and across to it is guest bedroom number two. Again, window to the side of the house. And this one has a little walk-in closet. It's not huge, but it's not bad. And we walk out of here. And this is the bathroom for these two bedrooms. Vanity, two sinks, which is always nice. Hello! <laughs> And then there is a tub and shower combination. Water, toilet right there, out of here. So again, bedroom one, bedroom two, and you get this bathroom. Okay, so going down the hallway again, to the right, right here, laundry room, garage entrance. Now it brings you right out to the kitchen. Nice, and there's your pantry right there. So we're gonna walk on down. We're gonna go into the master primary room. We're gonna go left. Actually, we're gonna go in one more bedroom, I'm sorry. So this is bedroom number three. And we're gonna back out of it, and then we're going into the master primary. Windows to the backyard, of course. Let me 
turn around so you can see it a little better. Not take you into the bathroom. Double sinks. Nice shower, no tub. A lot of them, as you know, are getting away from the tubs. Oh, look at three closed doors. Let's go check them out. So behind door number one, we have a linen closet. That's nice. Behind door number two is another linen closet, just in case you have a lot of linens. And behind door number three is your water closet. <laughs> okay, which door do you want? <laughs> okay, then here is your clothes closet. Very nice size. Oh, they have shelving up at the very top. Boy, you don't ever see that. I should say you very seldom see that. Very, very seldom. So a very nice walk-in closet. I'll swing back around so you can take another look. And then walking out of the closet gives you another look at the shower, the vanity, and then back out to the bedroom. Then as we exit the master bedroom, we're gonna come back out to the hallway. So just to recap a little bit, you, there is bedroom one, and then there's two more bedrooms up there. So those are three bedrooms, and then you have your primary bedroom. So we're gonna take you outside so we can go take a look at the backyard for you. And obviously you can do what you want with your backyard. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? They have artificial turf. Of course you could have whatever you want. It's actually a very nice yard. I'm gonna bring back, swing back so you can see the size of the yard. There you go. Very, very nice. And then of, of course they have the covered patio. And those two windows right there are from the master bedroom. Take you back inside. I'll give you a recap here. There you go. Very nice. So a recap on this. Again, this is the Harlow. We are in a Barado Discovery Collection. It is 1960 square feet. It is four to five bedrooms, two to three bathrooms. It has a study, a two car garage, and the price point starts at 405,990. Of course, it depends on how many upgrades you have. If you have a standard lot, a premium lot, so many uh, variables in there. And of course they do have uh, lender special so you're going to want to reach out uh, and I can get you the current ones at the time you see this so let's go ahead and go on to the next one okay so you know what's coming up next if you see my other videos this is FYI benef benefit for you the buyer remember anytime you go into a new build always 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 did I say always always bring your realtor why because the agent inside as nice and sweet as they are they represent the seller and the builder. You don't want somebody that represents the seller to represent you, that represents the builder to represent you. You want what is called exclusive representation. And that means somebody that's gonna represent just you and your family or just you from beginning all the way to end for the benefit of you. You want somebody watching your back and only your back for your benefit. So don't go in there without your realtor. Don't sign up or register online. Let your realtor do that for you. Let your realtor be with you. We would love it. We'd be honored and delighted to be the one representing you. But if you choose somebody else, if, but we'd rather you choose us, if you choose somebody else, make sure you have your realtor with you. So that is my FYI and my benefit for you. Okay, so let's go on. Here we are, it's a two-story house. Can you guess? <laughs> it is called the Paisley. It's 23, 58 square feet. It is four to five bedrooms, three to four bathrooms. It has a loft and the price starts at $441,990. So let's go ahead and go on in so you can see it too. Okay, so we are standing right here at 
the front door entrance and we are going to turn around and horseshoe around to the left. And you're going to have your first guest bedroom with a front window view. And we are going to go right here and this is your walk-in closet. I'm going to swing back around so you can see the bedroom a little better. We come out of this bedroom and then right across the hallway, hello, <laughs> is your bathroom. They have a walk-in shower. And then out here is the hallway. There's your front door. So we're going to walk down the hallway. There's the stairs up, which we will get to later. And that opens up to the family room. Dining room, kitchen. Wow, this is really nice. Look at that. With gorgeous views of the backyard. Let's see if I can look at that. Okay, I'm gonna take you in. There's your entrance from the garage. They have stainless steel appliances gas stove top, nice counter space, and a very nice open spacious dining area. I love that, that they have it like a designated area for that that's not in the middle of the family room. Beautiful cabinets. Do you like white or do you like the darker color? It's very nice, it's very pretty. This is your view from the kitchen. The family room it, it's very deep it's very big and then to the right I will go over for your dining area a lot of windows to let the light in lots of natural light and sunshine will come in of course we have a lot of sunny days here in Arizona 365 days of sunshine or cl very close to it <laughs> I'll take you to the family room area back up so you can see it a little better and then I'll swing back around so you can see the kitchen too from one end of the wall to the other there you go then I'll zoom in for you a little bit pretty nice and then of course you have these beautiful windows looking out to the backyard they have a pool I wanted to take you back up here just to look at one more thing that I forgot to show you. Again, that's the garage. And then you have this little collection area to put all your stuff when you come into the house. So let's go upstairs. I'll meet you upstairs. Okay, so here's upstairs. This is the loft, which is a very nice size loft. Windows out to the front yard. Take you in here to the loft. I want to show you from the front windows. I want to look down. There is the park. There's the playground. A very nice area right there for the kiddos and the family, the dogs to go out and enjoy. So again, this is the loft. Go right across the loft into the primary bedroom which is a very nice size. Again, the square footage on this house, 2358. Into the best bathroom. There we go. Double sinks all the way up to the ceiling right there. And the shower, wait till you see the shower. I'm gonna swing back around. The whole thing is the shower. Look at that. It's very large. You know, they're just taking the tubs away and giving you a very large shower. And you step here and then there. Hello! <laughs> but bring you back around there is another look at the vanity. Up there, there's the water closet. And then this is your clothes closet. Okay, I gotta tell you, I'm a little disappointed. I need a little bit bigger clothes closet. Holy moly. Okay, it is what it is, but the rest of the house is fantastic. 
shower, water closet, vanity. Let's walk out into the primary bedroom. Very nice. Exiting this room, we walk out into the loft area and the stairs to go down. But if we turn left, we're gonna go into some guest bedrooms. But first, we're gonna go show you your favorite room, which is the laundry with a nice little sink, which is an add-on. Here is the guest, not the guest, but the bathrooms for the two guest bedrooms up here. Nice to have double sinks because I think that's kind of important. Guest bedroom number one, upstairs. It's actually a very nice size. You have a slider door closet. And then as we exit, we are going to go right into the next guest bedroom. And they have slider door closets as well. And then as we exit, again, to the left is their bathroom, shower and tub combo, double sinks, fantastic. And then again, there is the laundry room. Take a few more steps and there is a large loft upstairs. And then turning to the right is the master primary bedroom. And then there are the stairs. So let's go downstairs. I meet you down there. Okay, so back downstairs we are. I want to take you outside if I can. Some builders won't let you go outside if they have a pool just for safety reasons. But let's go see if we can get out there. And no. So I will show you through the window. Hang on, let me see what I can show you here. There they, are. they have a pool. I don't want to get the glare in your face. There we go. Let me try another window so I can get you to see the backyard a little bit better. There you go. There. You can have it with a pool, obviously, or without. But a beautiful backyard. Here again is the family room and the kitchen and the dining room. Let me give you a recap on this home. This is the Paisley, two-story, two-car garage, four to five bedrooms, three to four bathrooms. It has the loft upstairs. It is 2358 square feet for the price of $441,990. Now, of course, remember that's going to depend on your upgrades, if you have a standard lot, a premium lot, and whatever else that you choose to go within your home. And they do have lender specials, so you're going to need to call me so I can give you the current ones that are going on here. So what did you think of this home? Pretty nice. Again, this is Taylor Morrison up in Verado, and it's the Dis Discovery Collection. So what did you think of those two beautiful homes by Taylor Morrison up here in Verado at the Discovery Collection? Two beautiful, gorgeous homes. Uh, like I said, if you want to know what the lender specials are, make sure you reach out to us and we would be happy to get you that information. If you like this area specifically in Verado, check out my other videos. I did also some other builders in the area that might interest you as well. And if you don't want to take a look at them, just rather pick up the phone and call me to, to let you know what's going on. You are definitely more than welcome to do that. If this is your first time to the channel, well, welcome. In case you don't know, my name is Mary Kay Marino and welcome to Hello Arizona Living and Real Estate. We get calls, texts, and emails almost every day from people just like you looking for help to make a move to Arizona, or maybe you're already here and you want to relocate to a different area in Arizona. Either way, whether you want to move in days, weeks, months, years, whatever your time frame is, give us a call. We are always happy and delighted to help you. As I always say, we are here to help you, serve you, and support you at the highest level possible. So until we see you around town next time, show you around town next time, you have a marvelous, awesome, incredible day. Bye for now and see you next time.